Turquoise Stone. A complete guide to turquoise stone, its quality, types and colours. How to spot the difference between real and fake turquoises. Author, Saurabh Jamarani. Narrated by Deb Foster. This book is provided by Amateurs Art at www.amitisart.net. Chapter 1. What is turquoise? Plunge right into soft, still, sky-blue water and cleansing calm energy and say yes to all that turquoise has to offer. This beautiful blue stone shimmers with all the shades of the ocean, connecting to the throat chakra, so you can speak your truth and ensure that your inner critic is contained. With natural colours as pale and clear as the Milky Way, this sacred stone is dipped in shades of sacred blue-green to bring an extra layer of spiritual cleansing. Blue is the colour that calms the soul and reminds us of the flow of water, the cleansing energy of the earth and the surge of energy that can come from deep within. With a name from the Old French that means Turkish, perhaps in reference to its rich Persian history, the blue turquoise stone is all about cleansing negative energy and bringing good fortune. Turquoise means Turkish, perhaps in reference to its rich Persian history. Map of the Silk Road, New York Times, 2020. When Turkish traders introduced the Persian blue stone to Europe via the Silk Road in the 13th century, they influenced the gemstone's name, American Gem Society. Turquoise is one of the world's oldest healing stones. For centuries, it has been used as a healing tool for entire civilizations. It was one of the first gemstones to be mined, and perhaps dates back to 6000 BC in the Sinai Peninsula of Egypt. The ancient Egyptians would bury their dead with turquoise. In Iran and other Persian territories, turquoise has been mined over 3,000 years for its great spiritual value. The discovery of an ancient skeleton wearing a turquoise belt in Nishapur is a proof of the antiquity of turquoise use in Iran, Persia. Experiments have estimated that the skeleton dates back to 4,360 BC. In Mexico, the Aztecs too saw something special in turquoise gemstones and often used it when handcrafting beautiful masks. In America, turquoise is synonymous with Native American culture and the Navajo and Zuni people often use it to embellish beautiful amulets, talismans, pendants, rings, bracelets and even belt buckles. If turquoise does entice you, visit our shop and find a stone that speaks directly to your soul. Where is turquoise found? Arid climates were ideal for the formation of turquoise, with major deposits discovered in Iran, formerly Persia, the American Southwest, the Sinai Peninsula in Egypt, and northwest of China. Large mines were first recorded around 3200 BC on the Sinai Peninsula. These included the Magara Wadi mines, the oldest known source of this vibrant mineral, which produced turquoise for the pharaohs around 2,000 years ago. As early as 2100 BC, mines were operating in Persia, modern Iran, and were the source of highly prized Persian turquoise. Persian turquoise has been celebrated for thousands of years for its bright, robin egg blue colour and is regarded as the finest in the world. The legendary turquoise mines near Nishapur in Iran have been worked for centuries and continue to be mined today, but many of the historic turquoise mines have been depleted. Today, China produces the vast majority of turquoise, around 75%, which is often enhanced for colour and luster, and therefore not considered good quality. Most of the pieces enhanced today are usually polished into irregular cabochons and set in silver. They are meant for cheap export to Western markets. The American Southwest, once a thriving turquoise mining community, has in recent times experienced the closing of many mines. Those that continue to produce gem-quality turquoise are actually mining copper, with the turquoise found being a precious byproduct. Most of the turquoise produced in China comes from the Manshan and Hubei mines. Occurrence Turquoise was among the first gems to be mined, and while many historic sites have been depleted, some are still worked to this day. The most common places known for good quality turquoise are Iran, Persia, Egypt, northwest China, and the southwestern part of the United States. 
Iran, Persia. Turquoise is Iran's natural gemstone. For at least 2,000 years, the region once known as Persia has remained the most important source of turquoise. Persian turquoise is distinguished by its sky blue colour. The traditional source for this perfect colour is the Nishapur district of Iran, also described as Persian blue, whether or not it was actually mined in Iran. Although it commonly contains whitish flakes or spots, its colour and hardness are considered superior to the production of other localities. Iranian turquoise has been mined and traded abroad for centuries and was probably the source of the first material to reach Europe. Gemological Institute of America, GIA. Sinai. Since at least the First Dynasty, 3000 BCE, and possibly earlier, turquoise was used by the Egyptians and mined by them in the Sinai Peninsula at a place called Country of Turquoise. Sinai Peninsula was not considered part of Egypt proper, but was the site of Egyptian mines for copper, turquoise and malachite during the Middle and New Kingdoms. Votive Offerings to Hathor, Pinch 1993 Ancient Egyptians called the Sinai Mafkat, meaning country of turquoise, NASA, Earth Observatory. Archaeologists estimate the earliest inhabitants in the southwestern Sinai were miners who excavated copper and turquoise deposits around 3500 BCE. Many of the miners were captured slaves by Egyptians during wartime. They extracted turquoise by hollowing out sections of the mountains and then transported the mineral to the Egyptian mainland. The turquoise was used for jewellery and colour pigments. NASA, Earth Observatory. There are six mines in the region, all situated on the southwest coast of the peninsula. The two most important mines, at least from a historic perspective, are Serabit el Kadim and Wadi Magara, believed to be among the oldest of known mines. The former mine is situated about four kilometres from an ancient temple dedicated to goddess Hathor. These may be the first historically attested mines. The mines were worked intermittently and on a seasonal basis for thousands of years. Modern attempts to exploit the deposits have been unprofitable. The colour of Sinai material is typically greener than Iranian material, but is thought to be stable and durable. Persian turquoise is typically the hardest turquoise because it has the highest specific gravity density in the entire world. The specific gravity, SG, of turquoise from different sources varies. While there is some overlap, some of the measurements at the extreme end can help identify sources. IGS, International Gem Society. United States. It is believed that turquoise was discovered in North America around 200 BC by the Native American Indians in the southwestern United States, which is a significant source of turquoise. The deposits in California and New Mexico were mined by pre-Columbian Native Americans using stone tools, some locally made and some from as far away as central Mexico. Cerillos, situated just close to Santa Fe in New Mexico, is thought to be the location of the oldest mines. Prior to the 1920s, the state was the country's largest producer. It is more or less exhausted today. The turquoise occurs as vein or seam fillings and as compact nuggets. These are mostly small in size. While some material is relatively fine, rivaling Iranian in both colour and durability, most American turquoise is of a low grade and referred to as chalk turquoise. It's estimated that over 90 to 95% of the turquoise on the market today has been stabilised or enhanced. A typically brittle consistency prevents use in jewellery due to the turquoise's untreated state. Arizona is the producer of the Bisbee turquoise, which is mostly known for its chocolate brown matrix and is a good example of the state's natural endowment. Most of the Arizona turquoise is recovered as a byproduct of copper mining. Nevada is the other major producer in the US, with an estimated 120 mines operating over many years, producing more than all other 50 states put together. The Nevada material is noted for its often attractive brown or black limonite veining, producing what is called spiderweb matrix. These mines include Royston, Lander Blue, Number 8, Lone Mountain and others. Most American turquoise is treated or enhanced to a certain degree in an effort to improve the colour and or durability of the natural stone.
These treatments include innocuous waxing and more controversial procedures, such as dyeing and impregnation. Impregnation is stabilisation with a bonding agent, such as acrylic polymer or epoxy resin, in addition to the dyeing process to change its colour. This book is provided by Amateurs Art at www.amitisart.net.